Okay. All righty. Well, thanks for coming on a Sunday. So for this, for releasing the knees, we need a yoga mat. We need a, a dense ball. It doesn't matter if it's 10 pounds. It needs to be about the size of a basketball. And we need also a lacrosse ball for this, okay? So one of the ladies was talking about how she was experiencing knee pain. And the knee is quite a complex joint. So um, what, what I can help with is releasing myofascial tension that can affect the knee and cause pain, refer pain around the knee joint. Um, if there is any damage to any ligaments or meniscus, we can't really help that, okay? Um, but we're going to work myofascially. So working with releasing the muscles and the fascia. Now, firstly, I'd just like to show you an image as to some important points that we're going to try to target with our self myofascial release session today. So I'm going to walk you over here to this little chart. I hope you can see clearly here um, with the knee. This is a point on the out, outside of the knee. Can you see clearly? Vastus lateralis that affects the whole knee joint. Uh -huh. So that's the outer quad muscle. Um, here is the inner quad muscle right here, the vastus medialis. It affects the knee. Can you see that point when it's active is referring pain to here. All righty. Look up here, um, the adductor inner leg muscle here is affecting the front of the hip and all the way down the medial leg. Can you see that? So we're going to work with that too. Uh, let me see if I missed any. Um, okay. Uh, we worked with this point last session. And today we're also going to work with the back of the knee. See here, this is the rectus uh, biceps, biceps femoris muscle. So one of the hamstrings affecting the back of the knee. So I just wanted to give you a visual as to all the different points that can affect the knee. Okay, so I hope that that's really interesting for you guys. Did you see that clearly? Okay, great. So. This is very, very simple. What we're going to do is begin to work with the different lines of the, the thigh with the ball. So let's first start to release the inner leg, the adductors. Remember that adductor muscle just referred pain down on the inner knee. So we're going to take our ball and we're going to lie on the ball so that the ball is on the soft part of the adductor. So coming face down, but right there on the soft part of the inner thigh, right up against your groin, against your pubic bone, you're going to lie on that ball, okay? Now it's very sensitive, this area, okay? So now just, just start to... Find a comfortable position for your shoulders, for your neck. You can put your head straight down or grab a pillow if you want for your neck. And thumbs up if you feel a little bit of sensitivity on this area of your inner thigh. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> okay. So now that we've found some sensitivity, some tension, some sensation, let's call it, and let's not call it pain, we'll call it sensation. Let's just breathe with this. So we're not moving, we're just allowing the weight of the leg to fall onto the ball. I like this ball because it's broad and it gives a very um, uh, general release rather than a pinpointed release with a smaller ball such as this one okay so we we start broad and then we get more specific mm -hmm. so you might find that already 
while I've been talking, the sensation intensity has gone down. So it might have started at a six out of 10. We might be down to about a two out of 10. Once we receive, we go down to a two out of 10, we're just going to move the ball a little bit down towards the knee. Okay, so we might be kind of in the middle of the, the thigh now between the hip and the knee. Just find an area of sensation, of sensitivity. Again, same thing. We're just going to melt onto the ball. Allow the tissue to relax. And just observe the sensation that it starts to, with the breath, the sensation starts to reduce down to about a two out of 10. So with this work, it's really a self-discovery. If you're not feeling any sensation, just move the ball slightly until you find sensation again. So we're looking for the sensation, the sensitivity. We again, uh, remember, we're never going to be on bone, on a pulse, or on any, any point that's causing an electrical sensation. If you are, you move slightly off again, okay? Alrighty. So... Hopefully we've observed now that the pain has reduced or the sensation, let's say, has reduced. And now we can move the ball a little bit closer to the, the knee. We're not going to be on the bone. We're going to always be on the soft tissue. So never go right to the end where the, the joint is, always a little bit before. Now here we observed when I showed you the trigger point therapy chart that there is a point in this muscle called the vastus uh, medialis that can, when pressed, when it's an active trigger point, can refer sensation to the whole knee. So down here, you might be experiencing more sensitivity and you might feel a sensation moving into around the knee joint. So just stay with this sensation. Just allow your body to melt the weight, to melt onto the ball here. Try to relax and just observe the sensation. If you're not feeling anything here, you can bring the ball a little bit, um, you know, up towards your head or a little down towards your head. You just adjust the ball slightly so you're feeling something. If the sensation's already gone away, find another point of strong sensation. Alrighty. We're gonna breathe again. This is how you work with the inner leg and release the inner leg. Okay, good. I'm gonna move now to the front of the leg. So from here, we've done the inner leg. Now we're going to do the front of the leg. Again, we're going to start under the hip bone, kind of at the hip crease. And we're going to lie on the ball uh -huh, like this. Now, my left leg is out to the side like a frog. So my left leg is going to be out like this. This is so that my body weight is coming at a diagonal onto my right leg. Can you see that? Now you can keep the back leg suspended or you can put it on the ground, whatever feels comfortable for you. Again, you're looking for sensation at the front top of the hip. Okay, now from here, rather than holding yourself up and having your neck be feeling awkward, you can lie down onto the ball, onto the ground if that feels comfortable for you. Or you could stay up, supported by your, your elbows, as you like. You just got to try to be the most comfortable you can be. Again, if you don't feel sensation exactly here, you can move up, down, left, or right with the ball. You could alternatively move your leg left or right to find a spot. And then once you've found a spot of sensation, you melt 
relax into it until the sensation goes away. Okay, so with this work, it's really about checking in with your body. It's really about feeling your body and you can take as much time as you like. For example, if I move, so for example, I'm gonna move the ball further down towards my knee now. I'm finding quite a bit of sensation right there. Just gonna allow the weight of my leg to fall onto the ball. Just gonna breathe the sensation away. This takes a bit of patience. And once the sensation's gone, I move to a new point, okay? So again, you can do this work in five minutes. You could do it in 20 minutes. It's really up to you as to how much time you have. Mm -hmm. And so the aim here is we're going from the top of the hip crease down to above the knee. So I'm just going to move the ball again so that I'm above my knee here. Mm -hmm. Not on the knee joint, just above, always on the soft tissue. And you might find down, down towards the knee gets a little more sensitive. Okay, we're still on the soft tissue. Now, if you get tired of supporting yourself in this position, you can always have pillows next to you and, you know, put a pillow under your tummy or, you know, so that you're a little more comfortable. Okay, let's just roll the ball down to just above the patella, just above the knee bone there. Same thing again, we're just breathing it away, the sensation. Okay, rolling off the ball here. We've done the inner leg. We've done the front of the leg. Let's do the outer leg. Now, the tensor fasciolata is very dense connective tissue. It's sensitive, okay, guys. So don't be alarmed. <laughs> let's just get it, let's take this easy. So the way the position for this release is okay. You have your your hip bone here, and you have um your your hip joint right here. We're gonna start underneath, okay? So I will show you where like this. Now this leg is gonna go over uh-huh and in front of you foot planted on the ground then we come down to onto the elbow and then again the leg can come up if you want or keep it down i'm gonna keep mine up so we're right on the side of our leg underneath the hip bone and it's sensitive so this leg is in front of us, foot planted flat to support our body weight because sometimes it's just, it feels too intense, okay? So find some good points here. We're gonna roll down a little bit. Whew. It can be really intense here, guys. It's not really my favorite, <laughs> but it's good. The points here on the outer leg can refer down the side of the leg, also to the ankle, okay? So a lot of runners are quite tight through the IT band and it affects the outer edge of their knee. So this is a very good way of releasing it, okay? A lot of people use rolls. You can use a roll as well. I like the ball because it's versatile for the whole body. Okay, let's move closer to the knee here. You might find a, lot, a cluster of trigger points here. Pay attention to if these points are traveling down the leg at all, if you're getting any referral. If you're not getting anything, you can kind of, 
um, twist onto the ball in front, or you can kind of rock, rock back a little bit. I'm getting more of I'm twisting towards the ball. So I'm on the side of my leg, just above my knee. Again, breathing the sensation away. Uh-huh. I know it's really uncomfortable. Okay, Christine, just pop that top leg, your right leg in front of you to support your weight there. That's gonna take the pressure off. Yes, very good, that's perfect, that's better. Excellent. And let's just roll down just to above the knee again. We're not on the knee joint, we're on the fascia above the knee. And we're just gonna breathe that sensation away, okay? So you're searching for where there's the most intense sensation and you're breathing it away. I think the biggest takeaway from last lesson was that we can breathe our pain away. Okay, rolling off the ball now. Whew, that's intense, isn't it? Okay, now we've done the inner, the front, the outer leg, and now we're going to do the back of the leg. Remember, on the chart, I showed you the rectus, um, what was it again? It was the bicep femoris, that's right, the biceps femoris muscle that can refer sensation into the back of the knee. So how are we going to work with the back? This is your position. Basically, I'll show you here. We're just going to sit on the ball. The ball is right at my butt crease, where my butt meets my legs, okay? So you're just going to sit on the ball like this. So you guys, follow me. <laughs> we're just sitting on it like we're watching the waves at the beach, okay? right in the middle of the leg. The leg is stretched out in front of you. I hope you can see me properly. I'll turn to the side so that you can see me here. And you see how I'm sitting up on the ball? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, you got it. So the leg that we're working with is stretched straight out in front of you, okay? And you can kind of, you can put a chair if you feel unbalanced, a chair next to you or use the couch or just kind of relax into the bent leg. Are you already feeling a pain <laughs> sensation at the back of your leg? Thumbs up if you are. Okay, very good. A lot of runners get really tight up here at the insertion of the hamstring and the, um, the, the ischial tuberosity here, the ischium. Okay, same thing again. We find the sensation, we breathe it away. Then we move slightly. So I'm going to move my body back so the ball comes forward down towards my knee again. Uh-huh. And let me just see. Uh, okay, I don't remember, I don't see your name there, but I want you to sit right up on the ball, like it's a chair, yeah, right up on it, uh -huh. exactly, and, and if this is, um, yes, good, you got it, you got it now, awesome, yes, all right, same thing again, we're just moving down, down the hamstring here. <laughs> if you roll up, just come back up again. I know it's a little tricky. See where I come down towards the, the knee? Um, my weight, my weight is, I'll show you this way. My weight is, is into this leg. You need quite a bit of flexibility. It's, it's a bit awkward here. Yeah, Christine, yeah, that's good, that's perfect. Yeah, you can always balance yourself with your hands on the ground, uh-huh. I'll show you this way now. We're just gonna roll a little towards the knee. Uh-huh, same thing. So I'm just gonna hold the ground here and also weight onto my other leg and my legs up in the air. 
and I'm finding a point just above the knee here. Okay, does this make sense? Mm -hmm. And then I'm coming down just above the knee. Okay, I'll give you another option for this one, okay? Because I can see it's a little bit awkward. We're going to grab our ball and we're going to grab a chair. So I'll, I'll everybody take a moment just to grab a chair or I'll just show it to you on my chair. I always travel with a ball because um, you can work on yourself in the airplane, okay? So with this ball, um, you want to have a harder chair, firm chair, like a wooden chair. And what I'm going to do is put the ball on these points. And then basically, I just sit down on the chair with the ball underneath my hamstring. And I try to find the points in my hamstring. Okay, so there's fine. Let me just see if there's a, a tighter area here. And I'm just going to lean my weight onto the ball. Does this make sense? This is another way to work with this tightness in the hamstring. You can work from here, butt crease, all the way down, just with a ball like this. Again, it's self-discovery. Just find the point, lean into it. Does that make sense? Okay, great. Now, I have to say, whenever we're looking at knee issues, so we've now worked inner, front, outer, and back around, around the thigh, okay? Now, this is going to support um, and get rid of any trigger points that are referring into the knee. We, we also have to think about how we're walking affects you know how we're walking if the the feet are pronated uh, or if we have um a, a bow leggedness in the knee or you know um any other structural issues um we have to think about how we're walking affects the ankle which affects the knee which affects the hip okay so we also might want to release the feet and I'll show you how to do that. We can do it with our ball, uh, the lacrosse ball, or we can do it with a golf ball. Basically, all you're going to do is step on the ball. Uh huh. So we can step on a few different points on the foot here, here, here. Mm -hmm. and make sure we have good flexibility in the foot. What happens a lot of times is that um, you know, we're always in shoes and the shoe is like a prop, uh, like a, a, a brick that doesn't allow the foot to have its natural flexibility. The foot needs to be flexible. It needs to move in all different ways because in shoes, it just gets stuck. So try to be barefoot as, as often as you can. And I'm going to, so we, we can work with the feet with the ball that way. And I'm going to give you one last thing. We can work with the lower leg too. On the ball, I'm working with the calves. Okay. I put my calf, find the point, weight the calf with my other leg. And then I just sit like that. Let's see how that feels. The calves are usually quite tight in everybody. It doesn't matter what age. I mean, we're, we're learning to walk at one year old and you see the babies with little fat, flat feet. When they start to walk, the tension and the muscular action um, that starts to build the tension in the calf starts to raise the, um, the arches of the feet. Okay, so calves are really important to release. I can't, you know, I know it's not the most fun because it's like, oh, that really, that's sensitive, isn't it? So find a good spot 
And then also we can do active release here. So what that means is we're finding a, a sensitive area. We're on it, we're weighting our other leg on top, and then you can start to move your uh, ankle in circles, one way, the other way, up and down. And you could probably feel the fascia and the muscle working under that spot. Can you give me a thumbs up if you can? <laughs> it's good. All right. See, so basically, you're giving yourself a massage with this work. Uh huh. Let's move to a different spot in the calf. Let's find one more spot and then I'll let you go. Uh huh. So, in the middle of the calf, right here, is a really good spot. Um, a, a lot of people get cramping through there. So, if you get right in the middle of the calf, wait it. Find that spot and remember to add your breath to it. Whenever there's any tension, the breath wants to stop. Exhale the sensation. Always work with your breath. Okay, now we can go up and down with the foot. We can go circles one way. We can go circles the other way. Okay. Great. And just to end today, Let's just stand up and walk around and see if we feel a difference in one leg to the other. <laughs> All right, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you feel a difference. Yes, right. So we know that this is this is a very effective, very practical and efficient way of relieving pain and tension immediately. And you can work anywhere on your body. And this is very good to be done. For example, if you do a heavy legs workout, you're not going to release it afterwards because the legs workout builds up the tension and you don't want to release it straight away because you can, you don't want to hurt the joints. Okay. So if you do a heavy legs workout, you'll do the legs release the next day. Does that make sense? All right. Did you enjoy this? Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Anybody? Oh, my pleasure. Any questions? Okay. Okay, great. I'll let you guys go. Thanks so much for joining me today. And um, remember to do the other side now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty. Lots of love to you guys. Bye now. Bye. Hey, thank Bye. you. My Bye. pleasure. Bye.